Hey guys, Jeff with Westcott Designs. So we just finished up this 2023 capstone. I gotta tell you, in the sun, the blue in this is awesome. This thing came out really nice. It, the interior on this thing is so plush and the ambient lighting around the dash and then through the door panels is really cool. Um, we did a set of XL80s on this in the um, amber color and the amber and the blue tied in look really nice. Obviously it's more for function than it is for looks, but it does, it looks really good together. We did a set of race lines on this in an 18 by nine with a plus 18 offset. And then we ran a 35, 12 and a half, 18 Toyo Open Country AT3 on this. Um, you can see down the side here, when you look at it, just on how good an offset it is. This, this offset with the 35s works really well. We still pull the liners back in the front and the back of the, uh, the front tires. And that's really to maximize the amount of room that we have or for the tire for turning radius. Um, down at the bottom here, it, we, we trim it up just a little bit on the bottom. We pin it back right here in the back side. We actually took the bracket out of this one just to maximize the amount of room we had with this. The blue fender trim and all the moldings and everything tying really good. The customer had asked, hey, is there any way we could do a roof rack to match the finish on the roof rack? We're kind of looking into that, but I have to tell you, I don't think it's something we can do because that silver finish is, uh, when they do the plastic on these, it's part of the casting and the plastic one that's a process that they do. So I don't think we'll be able to do that. Um, but this truck just came out so nice. It looks super clean. So it's got our front collar, preload collar in the front with our half inch shim. And then in the rear, it's, it is a non airbag truck. So being it's a non airbag, it has our one inch puck in the rear. You can see it's got a slight rake in the front, uh, front to back. But like we tell everybody, we want you to take your measurements before you ever lift the truck so you can decide if you really need that half inch shim in the front. Not all the trucks need that half inch shim. So it's one of those things that when you get your kit and you decide, hey, I want to make sure that I'm not gonna be higher in the front. I think the way that this thing that stands this is super, super nice. The truck just came out really good. The bead lock actually matches almost the silver on the roof rack. So all the little colors tying really nice to it. So again, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again for everything. And if you guys need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Take care, bye-bye.